The game in Houston started on Sunday morning. It ended Sunday afternoon, but the results were all the same for LSU over the weekend. This time a 4-2 victory over at Nebraska as LSU came into the Houston College Classic with a nine-game winning streak. Ronnie Rance, it leaves the Houston College Classic with a 12-game winning streak. Well, they felt good about their team coming into this weekend, but they feel even better going into SEC play next weekend because all three starters gave them quality starts. The two freshmen, Lang and Godfrey, uh, you know, big for them in these moments. They haven't been in these types of environments before in their life. They all did excellent. The bullpen was phenomenal. Jesse Stallings, their closer, continued his story amazingly. Seven saves in his first eight appearances for a freshman. And uh, uh, so the beat goes on for LSU, and they're looking pretty good with SEC play right around the corner. LSU a winner 4-2 to two over Houston, 2-0 over Baylor, 4-2 to two again over Nebraska, and Connor Hale was a central figure in each of those wins. Well, he was very good offensively and defensively. It started on Friday night with this big two-run homer in the first inning, and the crowd went wild here at Minute Maid Ballpark. The team was electric, and LSU was off and running, but defensively is really where he made the name for himself this weekend. He solidified that third base job. You see that sensational play Play in foul territory looks like Brooks Robinson-esque and uh, and then that one came with the bases loaded in a 0-0 game he made an excellent play then offensively he has the game winning RBI uh, yesterday against Baylor it was a scoreless game until the 8th he hits a sacrifice fly to give LSU a 1-0 lead they went on to add another and then his offense continues into Sunday and today against Nebraska early on he gets the offense going it's a hanging breaking ball he drills it out to right field a ground rule double over the wall that leads to, you know, scores a run. So Connor Hale showed he can do it with the bat and the glove, and that's what now, 16 games in a row he's had a base hit? Every game this year, Connor Hale has had at least one base hit as he tries to close in on Andrew Stevenson's record of 17 set a year ago with that hitting streak to open a season. All right. One part of this season is done for LSU. The next part starts this weekend in Baton Rouge when a team that went to the College World Series last year, Ole Miss, will open the SEC schedule against the Tigers. Tigers don't ease into it, do they? They've got McNeese at home on Wednesday, a good Southland Conference team. But Mike Bianco, a, t a guy and a coach that everyone's familiar with, played and coached at LSU, has done a great job with the Ole Miss Rebels. They've been to five Super Regionals, finally cracked through and got to the College World Series last year. So uh, this is going to be a battle of two Titans in the West. Usually one of these two teams wins that division. It was a very good weekend for the LSU Tigers as they win three times. Next up on CST, we've got LSU and Southern coming your way on March 17th. That's the story from the Houston College Classic.